Okay, Suzy Kwan here. Um, we're at... I'm thinking Flagstaff. It looks like it is, yeah. And, uh, what we're going to do today is, um... Buy another garage. Okay, I'm... Uh, what I've done is we we got four hundred one thousand dollars plus, <clears throat> and what we need is one eighty to get the garage started. And then we need to buy some drivers, move some drivers, and get things uh, and buy a couple trucks. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I hope you all enjoy and maybe learn something from this. Um, let's get rolling here. I need to get to... The thing you have to do is you have to be in the city where you want your truck garage, your second truck garage to be. So you have to move to it so you can buy that garage. It's like... Uh, you have to go to the house you're going to buy and talk to the real estate agent. So I'm going to go down to the next road and turn. The garage is on the second street past this light. But I'm going to go down to the first one so I can collect some of that road. Um, road map that isn't covered there. Got a train running in the background there. So now we got this road. I got this town pretty well covered as far as um, Discovering the map. Oops. I need to go back around. Because I screwed up. And isn't that what it's all about? Learning to screw up so you can... Oh, yeah. Red light. Oh, well. Kind of antsy there, and the screw ups that we learn we learn from. So, I'm not sure I'll ever learn from those. And yeah, now I got it covered. Okay, so let's go back down here, and we were almost to the garage. See it up ahead there. It's got a green icon. Green icon with a blue resting icon. <laughs> I think before this is over, I may have to buy it. Like before, we could pay it back fairly quickly. Okay, so this is the garage. Okay, so yeah, hit enter there and then ask if you really want to buy the garage and yes we do. So that cost us a hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Now it's gonna just scan by the garage a couple times. Did that with all the other ones. Okay, so now we need to go and we need to hit the escape key or whatever to get you back to the main screen. And we're going to the garage manager. Now we have two, one in Flagstaff and one in Fresno. But if you look at the Fresno, it's got all the girls in it. This one has none. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna move the first two girls I got and put them in Flagstaff. I need a driver manager. So that's Annette and Cat. So I'm gonna pull up Annette and relocate her. Um, wait a minute, I don't want her as first. I want Kate as the, or Cat as the lead. So I put her here and put her in this slot. And Annette, I relocate her, put her in this garage, and in that slot. Okay, so now, when we go back, uh, Fresno has three people, me, Michael, and Lucy. So that's three people. We go to garage. Flagstaff has two, which is the original two girls I had. Fresno has two girls, so that's three. We have two extra trucks. We keep one and move one to Flagstaff. So we're going to give this truck back to um, cat, I got a truck manager, and this truck needs to be relocated to this garage for this person. Okay, and then this one needs to be relocated. I don't have to relocate one of these. I can just leave it here. In fact, I think that's what I'll do. I'll just leave it here. So when you do this, all these people go into like sleep mode. <clears throat> okay, so then we need to recruit a couple of girls for Flagstaff and Okay, this gal's got two and one seven. Two on the uh, on time delivery. That's a good one. Um, those are guys. Those are guys. This Bets R has two. She's got hazardous and fragile. Point eight. Petra has on time and economic. And let's see what we got at the end here. And then, now this girl's been in here a while. I'm going to take her, because she's been in here a while. That It doesn't matter. It, I, I'm just going to hire two girls. So there's one for here, and then we'll need one for Phoenix. Or not Phoenix, uh, Fresno. Okay, so we're back at the beginning, and here's the girl with the better, except she doesn't, hers aren't split. I would rather have them that they're split. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. This girl's got fragile and hazard. I think I'm going to go with this one here. It doesn't really matter that much. Oh, wrong garage. And then I'm going to put her here. Okay, so she's got a truck. I don't have to worry about... Um, let's go back to garage manager so we can see. Flagstaff has all the girls, and we need two trucks there. Fresno, we got all the people we need there, and they all have trucks, so we don't have to deal with Fresno no more. Uh, this flag staff, so we go to truck manager. And, oh, truck dealers, that's what it is. Go to that. Mod access, configuration, I'm going to use the big chassis, 
with the big engine cat and the 16 speed 308 and the paint job okay 136 30, 365 it sounds right okay so we don't have to worry about Fresno we just have to worry about this Okay, and then we can just uh, purchase this again somehow. Oh, I don't have enough money, that's why. So, being that I don't have enough money, I have to go to the bank. I got 82000 I need 136 So I need about, well... I don't know exactly. I didn't figure it out. I'm gonna just borrow a hundred thousand. And that should cover it. And then we got fifty six days to pay that off. We'll pay that off a heck of a lot earlier than that. Um and back to Truck man, okay. Yes, you can't enter from the main board. And if I would have had enough money, I could have just duplicated this, but now I have to. Oh, there we go. Shows the company configuration and my configuration. Wow, look at that. That's not really that bad. Okay, so we're going to buy that one. We're going to put it in Fred's or Flagstaff. Give it to this gal. Okay, so now we have Two complete garages, one with three girls, the original two, and an extra one, and Fresno with me doing all newer gals. Okay, not that it matters. So, let, uh, I'm going to get me some kind of job from... Uh, Flagstaff to Fresno, hopefully. That doesn't look like it's going to happen. So, I'm going to want something that's either extremely like this Logan Utah run or I'm gonna do a short run like the San Diego run well that doesn't get us close Bakersfield would there's Bakersfield that's only 9,000 that's not much but I'll get some bigger runs I I just didn't want to take a long run. This one's long enough. For the video is what I meant. Okay, we are set on gas and sleep. Now let's get turned around. I wanted to show you that the girls can make the money. even after having the uh, garage expansion. I might be wrong, but not. in my eyes, I think they can. Or in my mind. 
Okay, so we gotta go to the right or left here. Torsons or something like that, or Torsons? No, what is it? It's B something. Waltersons. I'll just show you how much I know about what's going on. Like I said, I haven't played this in a while. I just picked it back up and started this um, video sessions for the All Grow Garage. Okay, so we're going to take that job. It's Flagstaff and Bakersfield. And looks like my trailer is way in the back. She blows. Got that on pretty good. I <laughs> thought I was off. This is an eight, uh, almost a nine hour jet run, so I should be able to do this without having to do any sleep. Let's see what the magic thing says. Yeah, 13 hours, I can do that. This has got to be done in 13 hours, so we got nine hours to do it in. Or it says we got nine hours. Or that we're going to do it in nine hours. So used to hauling those big trailers that... This is Flagstaff. We're going to use Interstate 40. And this is 35 zone. It's 4.38 in the morning, so it will be in daylight pretty soon. I'm also getting pretty much 
acquainted with all the little quirks of this game. And I'm doing a little better with it. Don't mind my driving. This little truck here will get up and go when it wants to. Or when I want it to. Then when we get to the California state line, we got to go back down to 55. I think I can get away with 60. Not that I have to really push this job, but... Okay, there's a girl. Just made $4,900 plus. Which is... Uh, pretty normal for Michaela. She's I don't know if that's how you pronounce that name or not. It sounds right anyhow. It's like Michael with an N. A at the end. But the other two new girls, they'll go into rest mode at the beginning. And then once everything connects up and uh, the AI gets situated, it, they'll start doing jobs. Even if they're just little ones, they'll do them and then they'll improve is what I found. Boy, that nice morning sunrise there in the background on the mirrors. girl 13,000 and she just got in that new garage so that was probably her finishing up her run that she was doing during uh, in Fresno and then she'll go to Flagstaff and start a new uh, routine there but she did turn in quite a bit of money for her last job at Fresno. And that just did 8308. And that's another girl that moved from Fresno to uh, Flagstaff. And she also leveled up. So, those two girls turned out to be pretty good. I didn't think Annette was going to be that great. Slow down. I 
could just use the um, auto pilot to do that or uh, cruise control. It'll go back up to 75 here in a bit. If we're not at the California border yet. I don't think so. It'll only be a short leg and then we go to 55 and it's like, blah, everything goes, blah. It's like you're crawling along. Especially when you go from states that have 60 and 80 mile limits and then you slow down to 55. Oh my god, it's like dragging your rear, you know what I mean? Okay, we're back up there. do is I watch for that big white, or not white, blue and, and uh, copper California sign. Here it is. We're going to get in. Yep, we're into it now. Okay, so I just stay behind this guy. They love to put their brakes on, just for no reason at all. Just to give you a hard time. So you gotta take advantage when you can. Try 60 here, see if I get snagged or not. We're all set for fuel. Like I said before, I find this game fun. A lot of people don't. They say it's a drag doing all the driving and stuff so they cheat and get all the glory and everything by cheating. I don't care. That's okay if they want to do that, that's fine. But I just like doing it this way. I get it done and I get the same results. Might take me longer, but it's just like I try not to do too much modding, um, and that's with most games. I like to run them vanilla, like I played Fallout 4, and I played it vanilla. I played it with mods, but I don't know. Some of those mods are just overdone or underdone or something like that and they just get in the way with the all the things you have to do to get them to work properly so i just don't even mess with it i just go with the vanilla on most same thing with um 
Oh, well, not train simulator, but uh, the civilization games and city skylines. City skylines, boy, you can load down your machine with that thing. All those mods those guys run. ridiculous and half of them are showing up as they're not working right anyhow so what was the whole use of downloading the mods in the first place okay I can bypass the way station I'm not going to make a whole lot of money on this run, but it'll get me back closer to home. Now you watch this guy here, he'll speed up. See? Happens every single freaking time. And then when you go through one of those uh, road constructions where they got the traffic light, the last guy that goes through before you, he'll stop at that light. Even though it's green, he'll stop at it and sit there. So you can't move. And then when you try to go around him, he'll pull out and smack into you and you'll get a vehicle violation happens every single time so it's like programmed into that AI to do that and then you'll get these guys that are just roaring down the highway you know 20 30 miles faster and you all of a sudden stop for no damn good reason and not move and so you end up either having to get in a situation where you might flip your truck or you might hit them and you know and then you get the violation not them so I don't know how they figure that AI out but it's the same thing with like right hand turns if somebody's AI are sitting there waiting to turn right they'll they'll clamp on their brakes while the light's green and then you're stuck right at the yellow taking a chance of either moving or stopping one or two and then if you do move and your timing's off you get a red light violation And also, they should have no right turns when they have uh, uh, the turning lane in the center where the, the route that you're on turns left on either side. Or it's the same thing with the other way, too, uh, yeah, the crossing traffic. But anyhow, if you turn on those kind of lights, turn right on red you get a violation but it does, there's no signs around saying no right turn on red so I don't know I, and that's what I say you gotta learn the, go through the process of learning the different quirks of this game that That, requ that it requires. Okay, I'll slow down for this. Man, they got to tighten that goddamn curve up right there. Thank you. damage we did. You know, one percent that's tire damage. That also I said it before. 
when you see that one percent on your trailer that's not necessarily damage from hitting something it's just tire damage tire wear more or less and in this case because I hit that guardrail they, they both got it early but at least it was only one percent not something like two or five or something like that and then you can always go back to your auto saves and it might take you back a ways but you can always go back there and pick it back up do it again so you don't get the I always forget that curve right there it tightens up at the end there's some curves on that uh, you take I-5 up move from I-5 off to some other route when you do the loop around it, they got the thing so it's nice and smooth as you go into it and then as you get into it farther and farther it tightens up so you, you're more or less ought to just look at the speed sign that says for the exit ramp and just follow that see I went I missed my exit too much bullshit. Good thing I uh, designate these videos as 18 or over. I mean, the kids all know those words, but I don't want to get blamed for some kid learning a new word just because I said it and then their parents are all down on me because of it and then YouTube hits me and I don't want to do that so I'll go along with the program just tell them don't send your kids here because I have, don't accept 18, anybody over eight, under 18 Okay, here we go again. What do I got? Doesn't say it just says tight turn. Well, I'd have to say 37 is probably a good speed. At least I can steer. And not crash into the guardrail. I don't know how I missed that. Because it was too much talking. See, this guy, he, he knows you're coming up faster than the other guy, so he moves over and then blocks it so you can't pass him. I should have took that, but I didn't. Dude, 29 miles an hour? Come on. The vehicles can't be all that heavy. Yeah, I know. They're saturated with moisture. take this road time to find out oh yeah this is the road to which home Bakersfield now you get into Bakersfield you want to make sure you're only doing 30 And it never fails. I get on this route 
and head into Bakersfield and I get nailed every time by the cops. Oh, come on, guy. I get my mind set on passing. The guy is giving me a hard time and, and I get nailed by the cops. There, that'll keep from coming forward. <laughs> Block the lanes. At least I don't have anybody in front of me this time to give me a hard time. That truck's running in the fast lane. I'm running fast in the slow lane, so there we go. Compensation. It's called balance. Yin and Yang. Victorian house up on the hill there on the right. Em Emporium or something like that. It's the name of style. Yep, there's Petra. She's making money. Ain't much, but it's enough. Okay, so we're going to slow down here pretty soon. Yep, it's right after this curve here. Tumbleweed. Yep, I was wrong. It wasn't after this curve. It's after this one. This S turn here. I might be wrong about that too. Okay, I'm going to pull it down right now, that way I don't... Okay, up at the light to the right is a Peterbilt garage where you can fix your vehicle and rest up. Can't get any fuel there, but you can do those other two things.
damn it. Can't back up, I don't think. There's probably somebody behind me. <laughs> Blast it. Uh, on my earlier attempt at this game, my main garage was over there in uh, Bakersfield on the next, the street with the next traffic light. We'll turn in and go past it, I think. made it there before I wrecked. At least I didn't hurt the load. Because if you hurt the load, you end up with a negative on your money and a negative on your XP. Why you get a negative on your XP beyond me, I would think you get a, a, a positive because it's still an experience. And aren't they called experience points? Okie dokie. Let's see where they want me to park it. Where do you need it? Oh yeah, that's fun. I'll take it. I'll try it again. I did it once before. It took me a bit, but I did it. The guy's looking at his watch like I give a shit. Okay, now I have a hard time with this. So don't laugh. remember you did it too like I said it takes me a bit See that yellow pole there?
it is again. That won't work either. Get my direction mixed up. I had a hard time with this when I was flying RCs too. I'm getting cocked so bad. Okay, that's it. Forget it. No sense wasting your time and mine. Okay, so let's see how we did. Okay, so let's see, Flagstaff's the new one. Their productive productivity is one percent. And let's see how the girls did. There's Kat, Annette, and Katie. Now let's see how they did. Annette. She turned in. 308 on her last run because she's out on a run now too. Uh, let me show you that. She's moving a mobile barrier Fresno to Flagstaff. Cat, she's moving frozen vegetables from Flagstaff to Reading. And her log shows to 13,000. And the other girl was Katie. She's running used packaging from Las Vegas to Flagstaff. Wow, she went all the way over there to do that, so... I don't know why the AI doesn't choose it the other way around, but I'm not going to worry about it. So, she went Flagstaff to Las Vegas. Ah, that's why. She turned in 1384, okay. But still... This run is Las Vegas. Oh no, it's Las Vegas to Flagstaff. I thought it said Los Angeles. Okay, and Lucy, a new girl at Fresno, is doing okay. You'll get these every once in a while. Uh, Petra, she's new. She's got 12.52 in there. So we're not doing too bad. The garages don't always show grade, you know, they're like Fresno, they're doing 300% or 100% of 300,000 and better. So that garage is going to keep us afloat. And I'll get another driver there. This one will come up. You'll see, it'll, it'll pop up. Um, so, that's our little escapade into, um, getting a second garage with all women drivers. I hope you liked it and learned a bit from it. Um, I can't say that you will learn anything from it, but I tried anyhow. Um. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Toodles.